Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my top trade secrets. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare, fill, and finish unwanted cracks and gaps around the insides and outside of your home. I've been fortunate enough to build my own dream house. It was about two years ago now, and it's had plenty of time to settle in. However, it's quite common for new builds to experience settlement and shrinkage cracks. They can often occur and be more noticeable internally on your plasterwork around your wooden door frames. Where walls meet the ceiling, ceramic tiles join the laminate floor, skating boards, staircase stringers, UPVC and aluminium window frames. In fact, cracks can appear almost anywhere. So let's see what we can do to fix these unwanted cracks. So the first repair that I'm going to do is around this door frame here. It's where the plaster work meets the actual frame and then has been covered with a trim around there. Now it has been plastered and painted a couple of years ago and it's had some form of cork in there, which is probably a cheaper one. It's shrunk, it's cracked up. So the first step is to remove all that and clean it up. There's lots of different tools you can use for this, from scrapers, old chisels, or even flat screwdrivers. It's important to remove any loose materials, whether it's old filler or cracked plaster. Scraping these cracks out deeper may look like you're doing more damage at first, but it is for a good reason, because the deeper you can get that, the more filler you can get in. So now I've removed all the loose debris from there, I'm gonna take the paintbrush, get a little bit of cold, clean water on there, not too wet, and I'm just gonna make sure I've got rid of all the dust out of that gap. Just a little bit of a damp water, that's all. And of course, I'm gonna wait for this to dry before I start to put in my cork. So now the preparation is complete, I'm gonna apply my paintable premium acrylic. Place the tube into your gun, and press the bar in at the back. Cut off the top so it's open, and then screw your nozzle into place nice and tight. And again, using your trimming knife, cut off the top of the nozzle at a 45 degree angle. Place the nozzle into the gap and squeeze the handle on the gun. Once the cork starts to come out, run the gun down the crack slowly, continuing to squeeze the handle. You'll see the cork start to fill the gap. It won't look very neat at this point, but don't worry about that. The main thing is to just cover the area. Now there's a number of different tools that you can use to smooth your filler off. I'm gonna be using this one. Many people use their finger and that's okay, but this one should work for this unusual shaped gap. They're quite easy to use, press it tight into the corner and the angle shape of the tool will push any loose cork further into the gap, filling any voids, while smoothing the surface at the same time. Now here in one of our bathrooms, there's a couple of repairs in the same corner. One where this lintel above the window is plastered over and meets the plastered ceiling, quite an obvious crack in there. And also where the porcelain tile is here, I can see there has been some filler in there, which again has failed, needs to be removed and replaced and done properly. So again, take your old screwdriver and start to rake out that crack, removing any loose debris. As mentioned earlier, the deeper we can get that, the more cork we can get in there, which will bond better. Once you've removed it, take your paintbrush, remove all the dust, and give it a good wipe down with a damp cloth and then a dry cloth. Now where the plasterwork meets my tiles, I want to really strike and line on there, so I'm going to apply some masking tape. This is about five millimeters away from the gap. Then you can start to apply your cork. Do it nice and slowly, making sure you're getting in between all of them gaps. You don't have to worry about it being too neat at this point. Then you can smoothen it off using your finger. Then I remove the masking tape before it dried. I did the same above the lintel where the plasterwork meets the ceiling. Wipe the edge of my finger using a silicone wipe. This always gets it smoother and it stops the cork sticking to your finger. Now this gap on the edge of the staircase here, is, it's quite horrendous really. Large at one end, gets narrower in the middle and then opens out again at the bottom of it. It's also got a deep void all the way in. So, like the rest of the repairs, start with the preparation. I often say, fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. 
once you've scraped out all of that old loose cheap filler give it a good sanding down across the woodwork and the plaster so i'm going to apply the chalk in this on two layers i'm going to fill the gap first once that's filled swipe it off let it dry off for half an hour then apply a second layer wipe this smooth leave this to dry before painting we have two large UPVC windows at the bottom of our stairs, which are experiencing the same problem. So, out with the old and in with the new. All sealants work much better if the surfaces are clean, dry and dust free before application. Now using the right products and the correct preparation really is the key to a successful job. Although 3C Paintable is first and foremost an internal cork, it also exhibits decent durability in external areas where it's exposed to the elements. As long as you allow at least 30 minutes without any water coming into contact with the seal after application. Three C's Paintable Premium Acrylic is a one part over paintable acrylic based sealant for internal and external use. It can be used for a multitude of tasks such as replacement for putty as a filler or cork as a sealant on a variety of different surfaces. It's specifically designed for painter and decorators, maintenance workers, mastic application, professional builders, window fitters, carpenters and DIY use. Hopefully I've inspired you to seal your own doors, window frames, plaster work and if you're looking for more how-to videos make sure you give us a follow on all social media handles and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to know more about any of the Free Sea products just visit our website freesealants.co.uk